Hey guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Um, today is Throwback Thursday. I'm so excited because um, I have to thank Jeff Morin for selecting this week's uh, Throwback Thursday candle. I, It's sexy. It smells like a sexy, sexy man. Like just amazing. So he picked, um, out of my collection, he picked black tie. And this is from last year's 2014 collection. Um, I just got the smaller size. I have purchased larger three-wick candle sizes of this, but um, last year I just picked the small one up. And um, first of all, I'm going to start off by telling you what uh, Bath & Body Works uses to describe this candle. Your perfect date, uh, any, sorry, your perfect date to any holiday party. Green sage, sandalwood, and tonka bean. And for those of you who aren't familiar, tonka bean is most related to vanilla, or the vanilla bean. Um, let's see, green sage. Yeah, I say like uh, when it comes to men's cologne, which is this is mostly obviously like a men's cologne type smell. Uh, the sage and the sandalwood tends to be used a lot uh, for these types of candles, and um, so good, like sexy time good. Just saying. So anyway, um, as far as the burn itself, it's been burning beautifully. Uh, one, two, you can sort of count the rings. It's just sort of see how many burns I've had. One, two, three, four. Um, I blew it out on its fifth burn. I've probably still got a good week's worth of burn, which I'm gonna move this into my bedroom because it's just, it was in my bathroom. Like you probably, if you've been following me for long enough, you probably know that um, I burned this particular size um, normally in my bathroom, which this is where it has been. And, but I, it deserves a new space. It smells so good. Um, it's like a big hug. Like, I don't know, like, I think of like a sexy man, like it's like getting a big hug from some guy. I mean, like, it's awesome. Like, and they do have black tie out this season. They do have, I can't remember which collection it's out right, with right now, but there is a black tie out now and I will be picking up at least one three wick. Um, this little thing, I'm just gonna say a bad name bad word <laughs> but this little tiny candle in this scent throws so so far and so <laughs> so well um so even this one little wick candle is amazing um i can only imagine what a three wick candle would do in this scent so black tie has been reoccurring it has been back mm, i want to say i've probably seen it at least in the last three years but um i will definitely continue to purchase this it's not something i would buy in bulk but it's was, was definitely something I want to have in my stock. So, very, very nice. And before, um, yeah, I don't know, like, I think a Paco Rabanne or something. I, I, it, there's just it's such a really sexy men's cologne that just reminds me of a big old hug. So awesome. But I wanted to say, come on, Bath & Body, where it's not that you're watching me, but if they did a scent that mixed black tie and scent like candles by victoria i've already done a full review on this one candles by victoria um has a candle out called jacob black and i burnt this and it smells straight up leather sexy man scent of a cologne and leather oh, that would be amazing come on somebody please watch this i know on the candles by victoria you can create a scent and things like that come on bath and body works let's Let's get on that. That would be really good. But um, I absolutely recommend this. Um, guy friendly, girl friendly. I mean, it's just awesome. Yes, I will absolutely repurchase. Um, like I say, I know they have a collection of it that's out right now. Also, too, if you follow me on Instagram, I started seeing other people posting on uh, Facebook pages and on Instagram about the upcoming candle sale. Keeping in mind, the post that, I, that I'd snapshotted was American, so their sale said that it was going, the big candle sale was going to be December 5th now, and that the candles were going to be $8.50. Now, last year for the Americans, it was $8, and in Canada, it was the $9 candle sale. I was originally told December 11th, but now we're starting to see dates of December 5th, which is a Saturday, um, only a couple of weeks away, actually, uh, coming up. So you know, like I'm either one, I'm going to be there. <laughs> like if it happens to be December 5th, I'll be there. If it's December 11th, I'll be there too. So 
Um, if I hear anything more, I, I'm thinking about going up to my local Bath and Body Works sometime this weekend and uh, taking a boo and see what they have. I don't know what kind of sales they'll have because the big Black Friday slash Thursday sale is next week. So I'm not quite sure what they're going to have for sales this weekend. So with that said, um, because it is, oh, and by the way, again, thank you very much, Jeff Morin, for picking this amazing candle out. I love, great selection. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> like I wish I could rub it. Oh, like a lotion. That, that was wrong. I'm sorry. Um, as this is Throwback Thursday, um, I've added a couple of other candles to the possibilities of selecting uh, by, by one of you. So basically, if you're just new to my channel, I do this Throwback Thursday thing where I'm actually just recently, because I'm running low on winter candles, um, I'm going to show you a bunch of candles that I have that you guys, whomever the first person is to suggest the review, just put it right down in the, um, in the comments down below letting me know what you'd like me of the selection that I have here, what you'd like me to review. Please, everyone else, uh, if you thought you might want me to review a, a scent of one of my candles, please look below to see that nobody else has made that request because I'm only doing one a week. So let's just do the older candles that I've brought out a few times. I have a three wick candle in cinnamon and clove buds from Bath and Body Works left. I have, also from Bath and Body Works, I have the Merry Mistletoe. There's the, and from last year again, from Bath and Body Works, the Champagne Toast. Just looking for the little, there you go. Champagne Toast. And a couple of Yankee Candles. Now I have two of these that I could burn, and that's Joy to the World by Yankee Candle. And I also have the Christmas Sparkle two of those as well. And these are the two new ones that I have as a possibility to burn because I thought, hey, I'll just throw a couple new ones. Now this one I have two of. So if you select this, I'll be burning both of them at the same time. So, or maybe, I don't know. Yeah, probably knowing me, I probably will. And it would be the Yankee Candle Home Classics Candle and Cannoli Cream Puff. So I have two of those. Got them at Winners for $14.99 here in Canada. And last but not least, which has candle blood all over it, i.e. candle disaster written all over it, um, is a candle that I picked up. It's, called, it's a juicy black cherry candle by Candle Light. I uh, picked up at my local Rexall here in Canada. So I um, thought, you know, black cherry, you know, that would actually go well too in the, in the winter time. So I don't never burnt anything from this before. So or this brand. So everybody, thanks again, Jeff, for um, for picking black tie. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Um, yeah. Good job. All right, guys, totally recommend this candle. I don't know how else to explain it. You're just gonna have to go there and smell it. If you guys like men's cologne type smells, you're gonna love this. Oh, it's so good. Anyway, you guys, I'm so sorry I'm taking up so much time right now, but thanks very much for joining me, and I'm almost out of uh, daylight. <laughs> so thanks again, you guys, and take care.